Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this little uh, bubble gum machine Christmas ornament or you can just use it as room decor to put or just set around your house or whatever you want to do with it. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a little terracotta pot turned upside down. You're going to need one of the little Christmas ornament bulbs. I got this at Dollar Tree. I also got this at Walmart. Um, Dollar Tree was sold out, but you can get them at Walmart three for like a dollar ninety-seven, two dollars. And um, so basically, what I did. Oh well, before I get into that, <laughs> so you're going to need your little ball, your little terracotta pot. And you're going to need some pipe cleaners if you decide to use pipe cleaners, or you can use the little uh, colored pom pom balls. I am going to be using pipe cleaners. So I am going to go ahead now and turn the camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. And this is what we have so far. So what you're going to do, I usually use E6000, but today I'm going to be using this uh, 527 multi-use glue permanent this is way better than e6000 in my opinion so what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue here and you're going to put a little bit here and you want to put the lid right back on because it's going to ooze out all over the place and when you do that you're going to go ahead and you're going to glue this in place and you're going to make sure that that is not crooked and once you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to let this dry for a little bit before you move on to the next step. So you need to allow at least 24 hours for this to dry. So we're just going to set that out of the way. And I have one here that I was working on. Now, you're also going to need a, a can tab from a, a soda can, pop can, or whatever you have on hand. And I got this little wing nut that I got from my local store, um, hardware store. It's called Stein's. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Lowe's. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this. And you're going to grab your, your glue again. And you're just going to put some glue on here the way you want it. And I think I'm going to turn mine. How did I put this one? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a little glue on here, and we're going to glue this into place. And I'm just going to set this up. That way it won't ooze out if I lay it down. Or, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this, and we're just going to put this on. And it's going to go on just like this. And once you do that step, I'm going to go ahead and push this. Then, once we got that, and I'm going to lean it up like this, you're going to take your wing nut and you're going to put some hot or er, some glue around this. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab my lid, put that back on, stick that here. And we're just going to go ahead and put that wing nut right in the center. And this is what we have. And why that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and set this up like this and it's not going to stay because I just glued it into place but it's fine so I can finish up I can show you what to do with the next one so we're going to give this time to dry I'm putting everything 
back in place. I knew it wouldn't be ready to touch when I tried, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring out the one that we were starting on. So we're going to go ahead and put this out the way so it can go ahead and dry. And um, I'm just going to take this off. So as you can see, once you get the wing nut glued in place, and this is glued down, you can go ahead and paint this any color you want. I went with um, red because anybody know me know that's my favorite color. But this is what I did with this. And um, like I mentioned before, Let's put that back. Make sure this is lined up. There we go. Okay, I was just adjusting the other one before it had time to set. I wanted to make sure that it was it was uh, straight. So, all right. So this is what we have, and then you're gonna just pull off this lid, and we're gonna go ahead. And what I did was let's put this back on okay this clearly is not dry enough for me to move on so once again I am being impatient <laughs> so I am going to put this one back down and we're just going to work with this one so what I did once I got my ball glued down in place and I got all this glue down I went ahead and I took my colored pop uh, pipe cleaners and you can like I said you could use uh, pom-poms if you want and what I did was I placed them and I just cut them in little pieces like this and be very careful because these little pieces will pop all over the place so basically this is all I did was I took my scissors and I just cut like this and once I got a good amount cut I just went ahead and stuck them down off in here and just like I'm doing and you just fill it up or halfway is really up to you on how many you want to put in I was really hoping I should have just used hot glue that way I could have went ahead and did that for the video but I did not want to do that so once you get your pump your pom-poms or your pipe cleaners in this is what it's going to look like so and I just basically cut those in place and then I took my lid that I have here and I took my hot glue gun and I went ahead very carefully around the rim of my hot glue of the bottle and I went ahead and I pulled this up to close the ends and I went ahead lined this up on here you will hear it click when it's in place and I hot glued that down in place so if you decide that you want to hang this on a tree you can do that this is what it looks like or you can just set it around your house and you know be done with it and I really want this other one to hurry up and dry so I can fill it so basically I'm just gonna hold it and fill it so um, let me see I need to adjust that okay so here it is and um turn that down and I have some pipe cleaner that I've already cut and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them down off in here and I most likely won't put all of these in on camera or will I we gonna see so basically y'all get the idea of cutting up the pipe cleaner and just sticking it down off in here and so once you get them stuck down off in here just like I'm doing 
we're going to go ahead and move this out the way because y'all get the idea. So once you do that, I'm going to bring this one back. You're just going to go ahead and paint it. And once you get it painted, this is what it's going to look like. It is ready to go be hung. And um, yeah, and that was a quick, fun little video. It really didn't take too much time. I was hoping that the other one would be dry enough for me to fill it all up on camera. But um, I don't want to touch it too much because it's just going to fall apart. And I am just going to have to start all over. So I am going to go ahead now and turn my camera back up so y'all can see me. And that was it for this little video. Um, like I said, you have a little bubblegum machine ornament that I filled with color, Christmas themed bubblegum, as you will. And I, you can hang it up in your house or, I mean, on your tree, or you can decorate it around, leave it around your house for decorations. Either way it goes. I thought this was a cute, fun little craft. And, um, yeah, that is it for this video. And, um, thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. Um, if you liked it, please give me a likes and a thumbs up. Please feel free to share my video, um, with your family and friends. And thank you for watching again. And I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.